Now that we have our SD card with the homebrew channel and the Twilight Hack on it, the 3.4 version for the newest um, Wii menu, and we have our Legend of Zelda game copy, we can install the homebrew channel onto our Wii now. And um, I didn't mention this before, but there is a little tiny code on the side of one of the one of the parts on this disc. It probably won't show it just because of the glare of the camera, but I will um, get a picture of the code so you know where to find it and um, to know which version of the Twilight Hack to use. All right, so now we got our SD card. We got our version of Legend of Zelda the Twilight Princess, put in the game, and put in the SD card. Then we go to the Wii options. Data management, save data, we, and go to SD card. Now you will see three files, one Twilight Hack Europe, Japan, and USA. Um, obviously you want to pick USA or the one that applies to you if you are watching this and, um, and you are not from the US and just copy it to the Wii system. Keep in mind that um, if you screw up on the Twilight Hack or anything in your SD card, um, you'll have to recopy it back to the Wii system. So, and then we want to start up Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And if you remember that the code I was talking about before, this is where it comes in handy. Um, because there's Twilight Hack 2 and there's Twilight Hack 0. Um, obviously you're going to use the one that corresponding to you, and you will use that. Um, I use Twilight Hack 0 because I have the older version of the game. I think the older versions have 0, so... Yeah. And then all you're going to have to do here is either run and talk to this guy up here, or just walk backwards, and then the hack starts. Now it's going to tell you, um, it's going to come up to this uh, read-only thing where it says that if you sold, if you bought the software, then you need to, you have been scammed, <laughs> and you should report them, report it to them immediately. I just found that kind of funny. Um, if for anyone to scam someone with this, but whatever. We live in that kind of world, but... Okay, then we get to here, and um, and you can either press start with a GameCube controller plugged in, or you have to press the... Um, we reset button to accept. Just pretty much is legitimate, so just, you know, you can press start as soon as everything comes up, and now it's installing. And installing the homebrew channel. Installation complete. And there it is. And um, uh, the homebrew channel. We'll have all the applications that you put in already um, on the SD card, and this channel will pretty much only work if you have the SD card in. So you had GameCube, Linux, Region Free, Gecko, Region Free. You need the USB Gecko for this, and Tetris Wii, all this stuff. Um, and then you got the N64 emulator right here. Um, all this stuff is okay, but. Um, if you want to get free virtual games, virtual console games, then you'll have to check out my next video. Thanks guys, and I hope you enjoyed my 
um, tutorial of how to get the homebrew channel on your Wii. Alright, uh, thanks again for watching.